Guided by voices. They're back. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for an album review. This is the latest LP from Guided by Voices, a legendary Ohio indie rock group. I mentioned them in my recent Neutral Milk Hotel review where I said they were experimenting and innovating along with some of the greatest underground and lo-fi rock acts of the 90s. And part of what made Guided by Voices so unique is just the amount of influences that their music showcased. Just psychedelic rock, British Invasion, blues, garage, punk and post-punk, prog rock, art rock, power pop, noise, just avant-garde tracks that didn't really seem to have any kind of form or direction. Guided by Voices albums are notorious for just not sticking to one thing. Which is what part of what keeps listening through a Guided by Voices album so interesting, because you never know where the next song is gonna go. The only thing that brought many of this band's releases any consistency was their lo-fi recording style, Robert Pollard's vocals, and just this general oddness. Now this is the first album Guided by Voices has released since a hiatus they imposed on themselves in 2004. And now they're back with an older, older lineup that used to be around when Guided by Voices was considered to be putting out some of their best material. And this album is kind of being promoted as a return to form, a return to some of the band's best LPs like B-1000 and Alien Lanes. And even though the hiatus Guided by Voices took wasn't really all that long, this band getting back together has stirred up a lot of talk again. And it doesn't look like these guys are going to jump in and jump out either because we've got this record and another record coming down the pipe spring this year titled Class Clown Spots a UFO. But for now we have this record, the first installment since these guys have gotten back together. Let's go eat the factory. On this LP we have almost two dozen songs of various lengths, styles, and audio qualities. Guided by Voices really is up to its old tricks again because they have really turned their back on the cleaner sounds and the more developed songwriting, or the more traditional songwriting, rather, that was on their later releases. This LP is pretty much everything you would expect from a classic Guided by Voices album. It really has everything. Maybe it's not as lo-fi as it used to be, but I think the only thing it's truly, truly missing is the 90s. You know, like a time period when this stuff would have sounded fresh and groundbreaking. Not to say this album is terrible, not to say it's bad, but sometimes going backwards to reclaim past glory can be a little like setting yourself up for failure. Hardcore fans will be pleased, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. As far as the meat and potatoes of this album goes, I just think it's a load of hits and misses, but it's mostly hits. Right from the opening track, the, the very distorted and lo-fi guitar chords are back. Drums are buried in the mix, and Robert Pollard's very aged vocalist just kind of lost in the chaos. And the track still has that Guided by Voices calling card of, of sounding like something I've heard somewhere before but kind of like a bizarro version of it. The next moment on this LP where a song really hits me is definitely Donut for a Snowman. It's one of the weirdest and prettiest tunes on this album. These really lazy, flat vocals are delivering this this very strange and surreal imagery that I have no idea how to interpret. And, you know, even though the vocals do feel a little off pitch, they're kind of also very calming to me too, because they don't seem very eerie, eerie, forceful, just really chilled out. The guitar chords just have this really kind of friendly character to them, and the overall feel of the song is just really warm and inviting. The tune is short, but it ties everything up really nicely toward the end. The track Hang Mr. Kite is a nice change of pace on the album. There is nothing in the way of Pollard's voice, and he just has this kind of godly, atmospheric reverb on his vocal. He's singing about this kite, there are these very sobering cellos in the background, it just has this heavy, heavy feeling of seriousness to it, but I don't know what is so serious about it. As far as length goes, it's another short track, but Guided by Voices really knows how to pack a lot of punch when they want to in a short amount of time. Another track where I feel like Pollard's voice kind of 
steals the spotlight is My Europa. And that song is nothing more than just his vocal and, and a guitar with a, with a watery sort of effect on it. It's kind of noisy, but the vocal melody and the hook is just really striking to me. The song Old Bones, which actually, in a way, kind of sounds like a very chilled out synthscaped version of Auld Lang Syne was so pretty that I almost kind of wanted to cry a little bit to it. Those are like my favorites, you know, but there are a lot of tracks on here that I feel like have nice qualities, but they don't stick to me all that much. The song Waves has this really kind of fun, drony quality to it. Imperial Racehorsing has a really nice touch of horns on it, and the Big Hat and Toy Show is like a blues jam gone horribly, horribly wrong, but in a kind of alluring way. A lot of tracks on here just don't have hooks that stick with me, or they end so abruptly they don't leave an impact. I just know some of the tracks here would have been more likable to me if they were more fleshed out, and I know that's, that's a weird request or expectation for a Guided by Voices record, but, but sometimes I just feel like this album is just a scramble of different song sketches. I think some people would call it filler. I wouldn't call it filler though because some of the song ideas on here are pretty good. Overall I thought this LP was pretty good, not exactly breaking new ground, something for the fans, but still standing proudly as a righteous pillar of weirdness. But what does Cal think? <laughs> this guy with the voices? It's not like I'm a psychologist. We have fun here. Feeling a strong six. Yeah, about a strong six on this, but what do you think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why? And what do you think I should review next? Anthony Fantano, Guided by Voices, Forever. Forever.